So I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakafadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles, elders, bishops, of great millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants of prophets, sincere prophets, the brothers that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you I say shalom. Repentance takes meekness and humility. And the repentance, repentance is the one of the first steps of coming into this truth, coming into this light. You got to repent. You got to be remorseful. All right. You have to show repentance. All right. How do you show repentance? By not doing it again. Repent meaning to turn away, turn from sin. Okay. That, that's what you essentially have to do when you come into this truth. Of course, we can't keep all 613 laws. Okay. No one could keep them. No one could keep them except Yahweh Shah. Okay, but we have to try the best we can. But the beginning of that is repenting, turn away from sin. All right, and that takes meekness and humility. Okay, meek, meek, meek and, meekness and humility go hand in hand. Okay, you have to be humble in this. Okay, you, you can't be thinking that you the nigga that know everything. You can't you can't always you can't think you the smartest nigga in the room. Okay, and you got a lot of jakes that they can't they that wisdom puff, puffeth up like the scripture says. All right, they get puffed up with this wisdom and they can't receive. Everything they can't receive certain prophecies. They can't receive the MOTB. They can't, you know, uh, understand these deep mysteries. And these are men like Nate that's been in this for for you know 20, 30 years. Okay, because they're not ultimately humble. All right, they 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 may seem they may uh, uh they may seem like they're meek. All right, they may come off as um being sincere, but they really not. Okay, but you in order to repent, you gotta you gotta ultimately show meekness. And humility. So let me start with Deuteronomy because this is speaking unto the whole nation, okay? Because we went off as a nation. We all, you know, we all went off, okay? But the Lord has, you know, those that have come into this truth, those that uh, continue in this truth, they have to show and continue to show a level of meekness and humility. All right, so this is Deuteronomy 31, and I'm going to start at verse 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will I rise up. And go and go a whoring after after the gods of the strangers of the land, whether they whither they go to be among them, and I will fors and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. So the Lord is telling Moses that you're going to die, and these people that I delivered out of Egypt, out of bondage, out of captivity, they're going to go a whoring to other gods in in a, in a different land. Okay, they will forsake me. They're going to break my covenant 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 that I made with them, okay, so so the Lord knew we was going to go off, the Lord made us go off, okay, so we can return unto him, okay, but there's only a remnant that's going to ultimately return, all right, the only a remnant that it ultimately will, 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 you know, is going to show a level of meekness and humility and, 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 and repent and continue to repent, because when you repent, you come into the truth, you just, it don't stop there, all right, you always, you know, when you think of something that you did wicked in the world, you repent from that. You, you know, whether you're repenting your mind or you're confessing your 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 your, your, your faults to Yahweh Shema Shai through your prayers, but you continue to repent from that that old man that you once were in the world. All right, you you we're constantly repenting in this place, all right, showing humility, showing meekness, all right, knowing that we don't know it all. The all right, and when you were, when you was in the world, all right, most niggas in the world still think they got it figured out, all right, they got their life figured out, but you come into this truth, you realize you don't know shit. Okay, and not just pertaining to the scriptures, just everything in life. Okay, but we went off as a nation, all right, and the Lord turned from us. He turned his back on us. And then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, are not these evils come upon us because... Because our power is not among us, that's why they're gonna they're gonna question that. All right, that's why all people always question why are all these things happening to us? Because we went on, we went off as a nation. Okay, and I will surely hide my face in that day, for all these evils, which they shall have wrought in that they have turned unto other gods. So that was the main sin that Israel committed. Going the horn to other gods, all right, if, amongst others, uh, amongst other sins, but that was the main one, all right. That's why the Lord jacked us up and continues to jack us up. Continues, and, and two thirds of our people 
are not going to get it. They're going to, you know, ultimately have to suffer that, that second death. Let me get Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord, Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear you. Our sins is what made the Lord hide his face from us. Okay? And, and the Lord continued to hide his face from us until we repented. Until we admitted our faults. This is a Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early. So we have to acknowledge our offenses. That's beginning of repentance. And acknowledging your offenses is, is, is being meek and showing humility. All right. Understanding that damn I was going off. All right, damn, I, I didn't have it, I didn't I didn't have shit figured out. All right. You thought you was living a good life, and, you know, but when you come into this truth, you understand, like, damn, I was I was fucking up, you know, excuse my language. But that's essentially what it was. You Jake, we was going off as a nation. Okay? All right. You 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 sometimes when you thought you was being humble and, and, and meek, you really wasn't. Okay? All right, and, and that's the beginning. That's the first step. All right, first, of course, for confessing the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and, and repenting. The Lord wants us to, uh, he wants us to turn from sin, okay? He don't want to jack us up, but he, he you know, uh, uh, but he, he does because, ooh, hey, we go off. What is that? Um, Romans uh, 9, that anyone, any should perish, but all kind of repentance. Um, Romans 9 and, uh, I think it's Romans 9. Any should perish. Was it 11? Bear with me one second. Let me look it up in my, uh, my phone. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm sure I'm just looking at something else. Second Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that that all should come to repentance. Alright, the Lord don't want any of us to perish, but hey, he's a man of his word. He's gonna keep his he gonna stand on his word. Okay? And, and two thirds is gonna is going to are going to die. All right, but he said that all should come to repentance. The Lord just want us to 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 um to repent. Okay, read meaning turn back, pent, penance, show penitence. All right, you know, sh sh hey, be of a uh, contrite heart. Let me grab Psalms thirty four. Um, uh, Psalms thirty four and verse uh, seventeen. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry, and the the, the Elect or continue to cry unto your how about you shop daily. All right, our prayers are we prophesy. All right, the the, the 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 even when we you know we we don't say anything, our thoughts the Lord knows. All right, that we're crying unto Him. The, the Lord's eyes are open unto the righteous. The face of the Lord of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them in the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of trouble. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of broken heart and saveth them and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. All right. So we have to be of a con. We got to be of a contrite spirit. And we go look at the word contrite. Um, feeling or expressing remorse or penitence. All right. And, and, and that's the way, you know, you got to, man, every day you got to, you know, feel remorseful and ask for mercy and ask for forgiveness for our sins. Okay, we just ask for forgiveness to the Lord. Okay, he gives us, but we have to continue to be remorseful. We continue to be, uh, you know, in, in, in a state of penitence. Let me get this word penitence. Did I spell it right?
penitence, an action of feeling or showing sorrow or regret for having done wrong. Right? You, hey, you have to, man, you have to you really feel that, you know, deep down in you that, and the Lord got to know that you're sorry that you were going off. Okay? Because hey, a lot of Jakes, man, they just, you know, like, a lot of Jakes, man, they just, like a Christian church, man, they go in there, they, on Sunday, they, they, they say they repent. All right, they, 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 you know, they get, get the Holy Ghost, they get baptized and all this stuff, and then they back being niggas, you know, on Monday, Monday through uh, uh, Monday through um, Saturday, they niggas, and then they go to the church, and now they all sorrowful and in mournful way. The scriptures got Jake figured out, man. All right, the Most High, man, the Most High made Jake, so the Most High know Jake better than Jake. Okay, this is Isaiah twenty nine, um, and uh. 13, wherefore the Lord said, for so much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And their fear of me is taught by the precept of men. All right, these, these men, that's why Jake really can't, the Lord really can't open Jake's mind to the, to the truth, okay? Because they just want to hear smooth things. They just, they don't want to hear the truth, okay? Jake really don't want to repent, all right? Jake is too comfortable here. Okay, but the Lord is going to start a, he's going to start letting these plagues loose and jacking Jake up, man. All right, and, and it's going to be, and it's going to be warranted because these niggas just don't want to get right. This is Habakkuk chapter four and verse 28. As it was your mind to go astray from the most high. So being returned, coming back to him, seek him 10 times more. And hey, hey you got to seek the Lord 10 times more when you come into this truth. Okay, you just, this is not, this is a life changing thing. Okay, your life is supposed to do a complete 180 and, 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 and come into righteousness. All right, begin begin to live like a child of Yahweh. You know, begin to live like a prince of the power. Okay, not as a nigga, man. Okay, not continue as a nigga. All right? Let me grab this. Uh, back in um, Psalms 30, 37. Uh, 37 and uh, 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Okay, start a, the, the, a, you begin to get a peace of mind once you get this, this truth. You understand why things happen, why these things are happening, why we're in the position that we're in. All right, I said, and I said, begin to get a peace of mind because we won't ultimately have a peace of mind until we're in the kingdom of heaven. That's what you got to realize. Yes, this, this truth gives us a sense of peace of mind, but, um, we won't have that ultimate peace of mind to the kingdom of heaven, okay? And, and, you know, but like I said, that comes with meekness and humility, all right? You got to understand that, yeah, we when you come into this, you don't know it all, okay? This is um, Psalm 76 and uh, verse 9. Uh, when the Most High rose to, let me see, yeah. When the Most High rose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth, say la. All right, and then and he comes back this time. He's only saving the meek. All right, the elect, one hundred and forty-four thousand. All right, and the one third of Israel. All right, that's who the Lord is saving. The Lord ain't saving proud ass niggas. The Lord ain't saving niggas that you know that's that's teaching the MOTB is sin or an embargo or, or or spiritual. All right, because they, they they heard the truth. All right, and they have a sense of understanding, but the Lord hasn't opened up to them all the way. Or if, they, if the Lord did, they just so proud they don't want to admit that the apostles were right. All right, that that's that's comes with meekness and humility. All right, hey, admitting your faults. All right, and you're not admitting your faults to the apostles. All right, you admit it to Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. All right, you should be in, in, in admitting that to Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, and then telling your congregation that hey, you know, I went off. Okay, I I I was wrong about this, and you know, this is what it is, and continue to teach. Shit, this is um Revelation three and eighteen. I counsel thee and I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich in white raiment that thou mayest be clothed that the same that the that, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thy eye with eye salve and that thy thou, thou mayest see that's the beginning of the elect as many as I love I rebuke and chasten and be zealous thereof and repent mm -hmm. It says, um, despising at the chastening of the Lord. It's just scripture says, okay? Um, um, behold, I stand at the door and knock. At the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open it, I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. All right? And knocking on that door, 
is, you know, uh, uh, um, showing your, you know, admitting your faults. Like, damn, I, you know, I went off. I'm, you know, I'm knocking at the Lord's door. Lord, you know, um, I went off. I, I sinned. I've done this. I've done that. You know, uh, please forgive me. I'm not going to do it again. All right. And the Lord, um, you know, the Lord knows, like the Christians like to say, the Lord knows your heart if you're sincere and the Lord will sub with you. Okay. And the Lord will come into you. All right. And, and then begin to open your eyes and begin to, you know, uh, um, open your, you open your eyes to these mysteries, to these deep, deep, deep secrets in the scriptures. Okay, open your, um, you know, build your faith also. All right. Um, let me see, I have a few more scriptures I want to grab. First uh, Peter, most, yeah, first Peter 5 and um, 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves to the elders. Yea, all of you be subject to one another, be clothed with humility. All right, let's talk about the, 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 the brothers, the prophets, the men. For the Most High resisteth the proud and given, and, and giveth grace to the humble. All right, the Lord is giving grace, the mercy to the humble. He resists the proud. All right, the Lord hates a proud look. That's what the scripture says. The Lord hates a proud man. Okay, so if you're in this truth and you're proud, hey, like some of these leaders of these Israelite groups that teach wayward doctrines, all right, the Lord is going to, um, he, he ultimately, if you unless you repent, he's going to destroy you. All right, and the closer and closer we get, you're seeing that, you know, it's harder and harder for these guys to repent because either a lot of them sold out and they in too deep, but they just, they just proud ass niggas, you know, you got to say it like that. Okay. They, they, they're not, you know, it's, it's, it's really, for a lot of them, it's really no hope, man. Okay. And, and, you know, those, those, those members of the elect that follow these guys, the Lord's going to get them up out of there. All right. This is Ephesians 4 and 1. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Lowliness and meekness. That's that's the, you know to be a man of the Lord, to be a follower of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's what you have to. That's what you have to have. That's what you have to display. That's what you have, that's the way you have to walk in your everyday life. Okay, that that's the beginning of repentance, man. Okay, lowliness, meekness, humility. All right, if you don't, if you, if you don't, if that's that's the, if you ain't got the right ingredients. Okay, you you ultimately not a, one of his. All right, so um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, and glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakapadash. So next time, Shalom.